Evil has only the power that we give it. Good morning and happy Halloween to all my first time viewers. Welcome. My name is Joseph Long and I thank you for choosing this platform. If you are a returning viewer, hello friend and thank you for your support. Halloween is synonymous with spirits, making October 31st the eerily perfect time for your spiritual practice. While some may assume this means you will need a pointy black cat and an ancient spell book, all you will really need is a meditation to release negativity, to promote the power of your intuition, and generally be more of a treat than a trick. And you won't even need to be a witch to cast a positive spell over you. Forget goblins and ghosts. What's scarier than your sacred space infested with anxiety and negativity? Before Halloween was about candy bars and the fictional serial killer named Michael Myers, it focused on the deeper matters. Known to the ancient Celts as Samhain, the holiday occurred on October 31st as the season visibly turned, well, died, from summer to winter. The festival prepared for the winter's crimping cold and the arrival of the day. According to History.com, the Celtics believe spirits return for causing trouble and damaging crops. To ward off these pesky spirits, hearth fires were built as protection from not only spirits, but the winter ahead. In a way, the early traditions of Halloween were about protection. Keeping your space safe from the evil spirits that threatened it when the other side release them amongst the living. While we might not have to worry about literal crop-hungry zombies, I say anxiety, fear, and self-doubt are figurative zombies, gnawing away at our inner strength. The following meditation for Halloween might not be to protect against any actual ghost, but it is more in line with the spirit of the ancient holiday, protection from negativity. But it is more in line with the spirit of the ancient holiday, protection from negativity. Before we start the meditation, I ask that you please click the like button, comment, and if you care to, share. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Inspirational Moments with Joseph Long, and to hit that notification bell. It may seem like a small click to you, but to this platform, to me, it is huge and it would greatly help with my algorithms. Thank you. Let's begin. Before we begin, remember to first find a quiet place where you won't be disturbed. Second, find a comfortable position to sit. It can be in a chair or cross-legged or lying down. Take a deep inhale through your nose and a full exhale through your mouth. Take another deep breath in all the way down into your belly and let it go. Set an intention for releasing all your own negative energy and everything you've picked up on from others. I like to say, I am easily releasing all energy from myself and others that no longer serves me. I do this for my highest good.
Imagine a small ball of brilliant golden light in the center of your chest. Expanding the light on each exhalation. Spread the light throughout your entire body. See it in your head, torso, arms, and toes. Now expand it beyond your skin until the light is about an arm's length out in all directions. Now imagine a large bubble around you about an arm's length from your body in all directions. See this bubble as a solid wall or a filter that covers you completely. Ask this bubble or shield to act as a cell wall. Ask this bubble or shield to act as a cell wall. using its intelligence to allow love and positive energy in. Ask that anything negative not be allowed in. To hit the shield, slide off, and get neutralized by the earth. In closing, Take a deep inhale through your nose. Sigh it out through your mouth. Now become aware of your body. Wiggling your fingers and your toes. Circle your wrist and your ankles. Stretch your arms up overhead as though you are awakening to a new day. Feel the openness of your heart. and gently blink your eyes open. Namaste. So today, in awareness of divine protection, we claim the love, the power, and protection from within. We are receptive to love which fills our hearts and our homes. In this moment, we become receptive to our higher power. Right now, we claim protection from hurt, harm, and danger of any kind. We envision a protective shield which surrounds us and our loved ones. 
If you like this morning's Halloween experience, and if you haven't already done so, click the like button. Please note that we will reconnect tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for another guided meditation. Thank you all for tuning in with me this morning. I love you and I appreciate you. Rather you go out today in costumes, hang out with family and friends, or watch scary movies all day, I see you protected. Peace and blessings.